Phil, after the defeat tonight's County on Tuesday night, straight back in at home at the Racecourse Ground on Saturday. How are you feeling ahead of that one? Yeah, we're, 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 we're all um, in good shape. Um, obviously, um, Jordan came off injured, but fortunately, um, it looks like just a, an impact injury, so you know he's not ruled out for, for the weekend. Um, but if he is, you know, we've got Tommy who's uh, had another couple of days training now and is, is a lot a lot closer um, and, and other options as well. So so we'll you know, give Jordan as long as he needs to um, for, for the game. Um, in terms of preparation, lads had Wednesday off, back in today training and uh, yeah, the preparation starts for, for Barnett. So how's the feeling in the camp at the minute? Obviously not a situation we've had to deal with too often coming in off the back of a loss. Yeah, frustrated because um, you know we set ourselves up with, with the old victory to, to go to Notts County. Um, in reality, um, you know they started the best of the two sides, and you know in um, both with and without the ball, you know we kind of made it too easy for them um, to play. And, and also when we had the ball ourselves, we, we gave it away too cheaply, which um, made it a tough opening period. Um, but we got stronger as the game went on, which we know we do with the physicality and we've got in the team. Um, but equally, going to the weekend, the, you know, the performance has got to start from the first whistle and, and be sustained right the way to the end. Um, and you know, a lot of the elements of the play through the night were good in terms of implementing what we set out to do in, in terms of exploiting the weaknesses of, of Knox County. Um, and when we did that, you know, we got opportunities. But yeah, you know, we were the team who is all about being clinical and ruthless in that final third and, and you know we weren't the other night but you know we'll be back to that the weekend. And what sort of team or what sort of game are you expected from Barnet this weekend? Um, well if you look at the results of late 5-4, 4-3 at home they were the other night, a lot of goals in the games um, so yeah they've got threats we know that, they've um, got vulnerabilities you know like Notts County Act, like, like any any team has, um, but they've got a good manager who will be, I'm sure, preparing his team as, as well as he can for this weekend. Um, but it's all about us responding uh, on Saturday against Barnet. That you know we're in a terrific league position. Um, after this, there's a break to the FA Cup, so um, the league table will be as it is for for, for a couple of weeks. So um, yeah, it's about yeah. This is how Barnett have played. The, these are the key players, but these are the, what the expectations are of ourselves um, from the minute the ref blows his whistle to right to the end, um, to be right at it. And um, you know, I'm sure we'll know the lads are eager to, to get out there again and uh, continue our good start to the season. Not just get out there, but get out there at the race course ground again after two away games. And what difference does it make having that home crowd behind you, albeit something we touch on almost every week here? Yeah, the two games we've had away have been interesting because you know the Oldham game, 9,000, biggest crowds for nearly 10 years, and Notts County over 10,000. So the atmospheres in those two games have been um, yeah highly charged really for, for this level. Um, but yeah, of course. You know, we always look forward to the home games, and um, the atmosphere has been excellent. But it's like that for a couple of reasons, and the first one is the the effort and the drive and the determination of the team. And you know, I think that's the hallmark of this group of lads, um, and we've got to make sure we put that imprint right on this game at the weekend. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Phil. Thank you.